Alright guys, how's it going? In the last video, I mentioned I would talk a little bit more in depth regarding the graph editor. And what I'm going to do over the next week or two is actually make bite-sized chunks. I'm not a big fan of making videos any longer than 3 minutes long. And that generally boils down to user retention. So we can consider this as an introduction video and how to set up your workflow. Now there's no right or wrong way, but what I'll do is I'll kind of show you a couple of tricks. So the first of all, we're going to create a new workspace. So if you click this plus sign, we can go to general and I'll make an animation one. Now you can see here, it says animation 001. If we double click, we can rename this and I'll rename this to graph editor. And I'll move this window. I'll drag it over here so we've got a little bit more space and I'll change the editor type to the graph editor. Now the shortcut for this is shift F6 in case you're interested. Now how else can we improve this? We have the graph editor, the dope sheep, you can maybe add in the drivers. But what I recommend is if you come down to the right here in this window you'll see my cursor change. So we can drag this up and it'll add a new window. And generally what I do is I just change the perspective mode into an author graphic. Now, I'm used to actually working in a quad view, but for now this is pretty damn good. So, I recommend what you do is you actually save this as a default. So if you go to defaults, save startup. So the next time when you load up, you've got the graph editor there. As I mentioned, over the next week or two, I'll go a little bit more into depth regarding the graph editor. If you have any questions or comments, stick them down below. I'm more than happy to help out. Do me a favour guys, like and subscribe the video, it does help the channel out and obviously I'm trying to grow the channel. If not, enjoy your weekend, have a nice time, peace.